Hi, so this is Christy from Christy's Reviews and More. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product I purchased today at Michael's. It's the Loops and Threads brand of the Yarn Winder. Um, I was looking for a yarn winder for a project that I'm working on and didn't want to spend a lot. This one retails at about $29.99. I used a 40% off coupon, brought it down to like $17 something. So, again, this is the loops and yarn, or loops and threads, excuse me, yarn winder. It didn't really have a whole bunch of instructions with it. I couldn't really find anything online about it, so I decided to do a little bit of a video to show you how to use it. First thing, you want to make sure that it is nicely secure to a table or a surface with the provided clamp. And then we're going to get ready to start winding our yarn here. So you'll take your yarn, and as you can see, there's a little groove right here. So you're going to go ahead and slip your yarn into the groove. And then you're going to take your other piece, the part that you'll be winding, and just kind of wrap it in the little loop spring looking thing. So, you're going to want to wind this the same direction all the time. And you'll just kind of wind it slowly, holding the piece of yarn down by the string. You don't want to wind too fast, or what will happen is it will get off track and your yarn bill will not be very, um, I don't know, even across. So you'll do this for as far as how big you want your yarn ball or however much yarn you have. The only thing that I didn't like about this is <clears throat> when you're done winding, I love the fact that it comes out from the center so that you can pull the yarn right from the center, which makes it nice. But then when you take it off, you're going to have that hole in the center from where the post is. And then the yarn end that is loose from where you were winding it from. So what I did on my balls that I had done already is just kind of tucked it in on one of the ends right here. Kind of hiding it in there and securing it. So that way when I'm using the yarn ball, it doesn't come unraveled. Um and it makes it easier to use. So really you just keep winding. It's pretty easy once you actually figure out how to hook it up and stuff. Um, not too expensive. And it'll help you with when your yarn skeins get to the point where they're loose, flabby, and not a lot of yarn left. So overall it's not a bad product. It's great if you're looking to save some money and not wanting to do the electric one. Um, and able to get it local so I didn't have to purchase it online, which was nice. I wanted it now. Um, again, it's $29.99 at Michael's. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. I looked at like Joann's and stuff. See, I went a little too fast and you see how this piece right here flipped off? So I'm just going to reverse it a little bit. And start over here. And then just start winding again. So, yeah, I didn't find it at Joann's or anything because they only had the electric one in stock. I checked at Walmart. The only thing that they had in stock locally was yarn and crochet hooks and needle hooks. But I didn't find a winder. Um, your yacht, Walmart might be different, but nothing local for me. There are some decent winders out there. Um... I wouldn't mind having, but I didn't want to wait for shipping. Again, this is the Loops and Threads Yarn Winder. Uh, if you purchase it, I hope you have lots of fun and make lots of great products.